Beloved Masters, remember this term, Membranes of Light, for it is important that this concept is clearly defined within your mind. There were membranes of light placed across your memory when you began your journey into the illusionary realities of the third or fourth dimensions. There were membranes of light placed at the entryway to your sacred mind and to your sacred heart. There was or is a membrane of light surrounding your third eye or your inner sight. When your higher self determines it is time for your third eye to open, it will be as if you received a surge of sacred energy upon your brow. These specialized frequencies open the seed crystals of light within the pineal gland, which initiates the ability for extrasensory perception or clairvoyance. Most of you have heard of the ring pass knot, a thin membrane of light radiation, which encircled the planet. It was a restrictive quarantine of sorts, which was gradually dissolved from the Earth's atmosphere thereby allowing the cosmic information floodgates to be flung open so that the next level of cosmic wisdom could pour forth to a select group of world servers or cosmic messengers. For many lifetimes, every one of these brave souls has been in an intense preparatory stage in the higher realms. This intense training period was necessary in order to bring forth the advanced teachings in an accurate, orderly, and timely method. It is cosmic law that you must integrate and experience each level of new truth in order to move to the next, more advanced level. It is a unique and specialized path of initiation. The Ascended Masters of the Cosmic Council of Light do not openly teach in public. They work entirely through their disciples and initiates, mostly by conveying the inspired thought forms of higher wisdom teachings. Initiates work on the mental levels, also mostly behind the scenes. However, a select group is actively teaching out in the world, for inspiring others to become world servers is their most important task. There is a light epidemic whereby every person on earth is being bombarded by the refined frequencies of God light, however, each person can only absorb and integrate the frequencies of light that their physical vessels can accommodate. You must be able to metabolize the higher frequency God light in order to benefit from it and make use of it. Those of you who have steadfastly followed the path that was designed for you are quickly coming to a state of completion for the particular stage of enlightenment you have been in for the past 10 years. When you attain true self-mastery, your thoughts and words will become harmless, for criticism and negativity cannot dwell in the light of love and truth. Service is an intrinsic impulse of the soul self, just as desire is the major impulse of the ego. Your transition from the impulses or nudgings of the emotional, ego desire body to the inspirational thoughts of the soul and the higher self has mostly been accomplished. Your focus has moved toward group consciousness, and how to serve humanity. You are also well on your way in the transition from I or me or my selfish interests to higher frequency a we or our state of unity consciousness. The intuitive thoughts you receive, and the guidance from your guides, angelic helpers, and higher self, become stronger as you integrate more pure God light. Your personal reality expands from a small world focus of a me or my state of consciousness to an expanded consciousness which includes the world the solar system and beyond. No longer do you respond to painful events in life as fated or punishment, for you realize they are challenges and opportunities for growth. You are swiftly moving out of the energy vortex, or collective consciousness band of thought forms created by humanity, which is a vortex of violent activity. Ascension is a process whereby you consciously move forward into higher and higher levels of the energy or vibrational fields of your oversoul or higher selves forever moving forward into more rarefied fields of divine energy of the higher dimensions. Your soul is aware of the imbalances you brought forth from the past and also those you have created in this lifetime. It will do everything possible to bring these imbalances to your attention so you can rectify the imperfections and develop harmonious attunement with the next level of your higher self. This is the soul's main purpose for being. Your soul and higher selves will also make every effort to raise your vibrational frequencies and to harmonize the fluctuating energies of the emotional and mental bodies. As you progress on the path and begin to tap into the higher vibrational patterns of light, you will experience the effects of the intensity of the frequencies of cosmic sacred fire. 
you will be affected by the fiery forces of creation in three ways, fire by friction, fire of body solar fire, fire of soul electromagnetic fire, fire of spirit. Eventually, you will learn to recognize the source of the frequency patterns of the various beings of light that you are to work with. You will also be able to differentiate between the subtle forces and the rays. You must strive to become a divine observer and a master of detachment. You know who you are, we do not have to tell you. We ask you to steadfastly maintain your center of power within your sacred heart as you are drawn into the higher levels of world service. As you move deeper and deeper into the realm of the Ascended Masters, your chosen path of service should become easier almost effortless. Your major challenges and tests are behind you as you draw greater amounts of God light to you. The warring factions within will slowly release their hold on you as they submit to the transformative vibrations of love. My brave warriors of peace, as your light shines brighter out into the world, you must be vigilant so that you will do nothing which will make you a focal point for negative vibrational forces. You are learning to be a director of the higher forces. As you refine your skills of self-mastery, you will learn to identify the quality and force of all energy around you. In every era and major cycle, cosmic wisdom and divine truth are made available to those with open minds and loving hearts. It is time for an understanding of where humankind stands on the ladder of evolution. Each person must gain the knowledge of and have a desire to fulfill his or her personal destiny. For all of you who are firmly on the spiraling path of ascension, your major goal at this time is to return the vibrational patterns, which make up your personal world in the third or fourth dimensional reality, to the originally designed spectrum of light and shadow. By doing so, your pendulum of consciousness will not swing so radically from positive to negative, and your mental and emotional natures will once more become stabilized and centered. This is an important step in learning to live centered within your sacred heart and sacred mind. A disciple on the path of enlightenment must strive for heart-centered detachment and wise discernment. In the unawakened person, more choices are made unconsciously than through intelligent awareness. It is as if they are in a semi-conscious state of awareness. The initial phase of becoming a self-aware person is to realize that he or she is not consciously awake. This begins the process of striving to awaken to the nudgings of the soul self, for this is an intrinsic part of becoming spiritually aware and a master of self. When you succumb to irritation and respond in loud, angry words or thoughts, you are using astral energy that is contaminating to the auric field. Continued use will build a negative thought form that must eventually be resolved and dissolved via the law of the circle. Envision your negative thought forms adding another stone or brick to your emotional prison. Remember, you are composed of units of energy, which create your energetic signature, and ultimately your soul song. Your goal is to learn to control your thoughts and to focus your power. Your thoughts will increase in strength according to the intensity and repetition of your seed thoughts. Dear hearts learn to focus on the highest and best attributes of people and conditions within your inner circle of light this is one of the most important aspects of creating your personal fifth dimensional environment. The language of the unconscious and subconscious minds is primarily imagery. The refinement of the subconscious and conscious minds and attunement to the superconscious mind are greatly speeded up by the deliberate practice and perfecting of the imagery and visualization skills. The soul needs a vehicle of expression on the physical plane in order to bring forth the power and magnificence of creation. You must endeavor to rise above and to shelter yourself from the emotional chaos of the mass consciousness existence, however, you must also function efficiently among the masses, and spread your light as you go about daily life. You cannot live in a detached world and forsake the material world in order to attain enlightenment. Becoming an unrealistic, Vague mystic serves no one. The introspective, inward-focused meditative practices of the Eastern philosophies are being joined with the creative, outward-focused practices of the Western world. In a third and lower fourth-dimensional environment, your mental body is prone to projecting into the future, which creates fear and uncertainty. The emotional body is always replaying the events of the past, 
some fond memories, but mostly reliving experiences of failure or pain. The present moment is hardly registered at all unless there is some positive or negative drama involved. You should strive for a strong, highly developed connection between the mental and emotional bodies, and also between the soul and higher self in order to develop refined spiritual values. As you tap into the higher frequencies of divine wisdom, brilliant ideas pour forth from the higher planes of intuition. You may experience exhilaration one moment and depression the next as you gradually achieve a blissful state of awareness, only to lose it again. However, the times of depression will grow less intense and also less frequent. Be assured that your ego desire body will rebel and resist the efforts of the soul and the higher self, and will try to keep you in your habitual practices or habits of serving only the little self and its selfish desires. However, as you progress, you will tap into the realm of the sacred mind and you will learn spiritual discernment. You must constantly monitor and critique your words, deeds and motives as you train yourself, and gain discipline over the little self. Remember, all knowledge is a form of light. As you strive to understand your role and purpose for this lifetime, you will learn to turn inward in order to understand who you really are, why you act and react the way you do, and how to tap into your greatest talents and potential abilities. This should be your major goal at this time. Reflection, contemplation and active meditation will unlock the mystery of your true self and what your major goals are for this lifetime. You are an energy center, a receptacle, a physical body, which contains a measure of pure creator essence. You are responsible for integrating and using the light energy you need to empower yourself, and you must then send forth the balance out into the world for the benefit of all. Submission to your divine mission and to cosmic law means adherence to all universal laws as they are revealed to you. Walking the path of ascension requires a constant effort to make the highest choices for the greatest good, with an intense desire to serve. You must take responsibility for all actions and the energy you qualify, whether positive or negative, for it will return to you via the law of the circle. Your present earthly goal is to become a world server, and the quickest way to attain this level of self-mastery is to stimulate the flame of God power within. Self-mastery is attained in small increments, not giant leaps. Dear hearts, no matter the level of spiritual or self-awareness you have attained, we encourage you to make the path to higher awareness a priority in your life. The world and the reality you have lived and experienced in the past are swiftly changing. You have a golden opportunity to join the ranks of those who are creating a bright new world for themselves and their loved ones. You also have the right to remain in the negative environment of the lower world of reality that is swiftly being cleansed, cleared and modified, thus creating the chaos and monumental changes the masses and the earth are now experiencing. Which will you choose? Whatever your choice, we will guide and protect you to the limits of cosmic law, and we will always love you beyond measure. I am Archangel Michael.